Hey everybody, welcome back to Sophisticakes by Mary. So you'll notice that this tutorial thumbnail has two different designs on the same cake. And I'm going to show you how I did that. But I also am going to show you how to do this palette knife buttercream technique, a gold splatter, and how to make this flower, these flowers, using eggs. No kidding, eggs. So if this sounds interesting, stick around and we'll get right to it. So we have a lot to cover in this tutorial, but I'm gonna show you first of all that I used some plastic eggs and some fresh eggs to make the petals for this chocolate flower. And what I'm doing is just cutting down some saran wrap into some more workable sized pieces. I'm just setting those to the side. And for the egg ones, I am the actual egg ones, I sprinkled on a little bit of cornstarch because eggs will have condensation and to keep the saran wrap from sticking too much to the eggs I went ahead and put that um, cornstarch and just wrap them up real good nice and tight and then put them in your tray until your your egg carton until you're ready and for the other ones since we don't have to worry about that I am just coating them in shortening just to actually for the opposite reaction to get the plastic wrap to actually stick to the egg but it'll also make it easy to remove when the chocolate has set up now i just wrap these corner to corner and then corner to corner and just twist it to get them to stick now i'm just using some candy melts for this i have a purple a pink and then it's actually a peanut butter flavor. I liked that beige color because I was going for this lavender. Or I'm sorry, not lavender. Um, for this purpley, pinky, beige color. Um, and I thought I might need to add some of the light brown to get that more ashy tone to it. But it turns out I didn't need to. And that's nice. But you can do this with regular chocolate. You can use whatever kind of chocolate you want. But if you've known me, if you know me, if you've heard my, you've seen my videos before, I try to stay away from chocolate that I'm gonna have to temper. I have not had good luck with that, so I use candy melts. And I am just holding on to the saran wrap and dipping them in the smaller end first and then down to the base of it. And then you just set them aside until they dry. Now the egg ones are going to dry faster because they are, they are cold. So I just, by the time I got all of them dipped, I could go back to the first ones and take the saran wrap, the egg out and the saran wrap off. And just peel that saran wrap gently away from your chocolate, because chocolate is delicate, right? So, and then just go ahead and set them aside until you're ready to assemble the flour. Now with the plastic eggs, I did kind of have to wiggle them around to get them off. And what I found worked best is to hold onto that saran wrap in one hand and then just pull the egg out with the other hand. They came out easier that way. And I'm gonna go ahead and make some chocolate leaves. Just spread a thinner layer on your parchment and I used this texture comb, texturizing comb, to create some movement in the leaves to make them a little look a little bit more realistic. And then just use my palette knife to draw the line around the shape of the leaf. And you don't have to do that. You don't have to remove the excess, but I wanted to make sure I had enough of the chocolate because I made a bunch of the leaves. Of course, I went over overboard, made more than I needed, but you never know. You never know how they're gonna work out. And then I just draped them over a, a petal former to dry. And once that those dried, the petals, that is, I went ahead and I used some cupcake liners. I just kind of stretched two of them out. I was gonna make three flowers, three or two flowers and one bud. And then just put some of the melted chocolate out on the bottom and just place your petals in. Now with this, you'll have to work a little on the faster side um, because that chocolate is going to set up pretty quick. The candy melts, it does. Just regular chocolate, you have a little bit more play time with. But that cupcake liner is going to hold those petals up as they dry. And I went ahead and I left enough petals to... Um, be able to decorate it around the outside. Add some more petals for the flower on top. That's why I used some bigger eggs. Kind of a combination of the eggs. The actual fresh eggs are smaller and then um, the two plastic eggs are two different sizes as well. So I had three different sizes and you wanna start with your smaller 
petals on the inside and then go out to your bigger ones on the outside. And the inner section is three petals, then I went to five. And typically when you do your outside layer of petals, there's gonna be five to seven. And then once these have firmed up, have cooled, then those plastic liners just come right off. And then just go ahead and if you have extra chocolate, just kind of just kind of peel it away. Now be gentle with these chocolate leaves because they are very, very fragile. Touch them as little as you need to. And if you have hot hands, I don't, but if you have hot hands, go ahead and wear gloves to try to kind of prevent any melting going on. And then I just kind of set those to the side until I was ready to put them on the cake. And in the meantime, I am frosting my already layered up and uh, filled in crumb coated cake. I just used a dark chocolate ganache on this. That's my standard, but I don't always do a ganache um, crumb coat. At work, I don't. I've had that question lately. At work, I usually use buttercream for everything, but when I'm doing these videos at home, I like to have the ganache. I don't know why. Probably because I'm paying for it at home. <laughs> So I don't mind the extra cost of the chocolate, but my boss, you know, of course, save money where you can. And I'm that's my color palette. I printed that off from Pinterest. I just Googled um, dusty blue color palette. And then I found a palette that I liked. And I'm trying to match those colors. Now, since they're out more dusty, I went ahead and I just used some chocolate cocoa powder. Once I got the color, basically I wanted it, it, they were a little on the brighter side like they tend to be, and just use a little bit of cocoa powder and mix that in. That gets you a little bit of that ash background. And the cake had been in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes while I was mixing my colors together. So now it is firm to the touch and I'm just going in with a brush and my scraper, applying it with a brush and then going in, in with my scraper. That's a fan brush. You don't even have to do that. You'll see I ended up not actually liking the result I got as much and I went in and I and I made it different. You'll see what I did there. And then my mauve -y color, my pale mauve, another thing. <laughs> that mauve color that I have on that buttercream there, I meant the flowers to be a little paler. I, you know, I made the flowers first and then I mixed my buttercream and sometimes they're in the same color family, but I didn't think that the um, the mauve of the flower actually went real well with the color combination and that's why I went ahead and did the second version with the flowers but that's just me that's just my eye so I went in since I didn't like the technique the way it turned out the first time I felt like these depth of color um, that I got in this buttercream needed a little bit more um, concentration of color so I went back in just used my palette knife and I am just doing some palette knife buttercream application. And then once I got that done, I went ahead and I used some buttercream is all I used to attach these flowers. I have buttercream on the ends of these petals as well to get them to stick in there. Use a toothpick if you need to. If you have a spot that it's wanting to fall, use a, pick, a toothpick until it is set up. And then, um, yeah, you see there, I had a little little bobble and I just used that buttercream to fix that. And I'm just doing the same thing for the bottom. I didn't add a second row of flowers on that. I wanted three different sizes of flowers. And then use your buttercream to apply your leaves as well. And once you get that on there, you can go in and you can clean up that extra buttercream. Just use your palette knife and just kind of scrape away where you have extra buttercream. Since the chocolate is a little heavier, you're gonna have to use a little bit more buttercream to get them to stick and to not fall over. And then I just used my gold luster dust mixed with some Everclear and a brush and I am just throwing it, basically throwing it, splattering it on the cake just for a little extra touch of something. And gold tends to be my gold, my go-to extra something. So there's the first version. Now you guys will have to let me know at the end which version you preferred. Chocolate's yummy but I tend to like the flowers. <laughs> Just on this design, I tend to like the flowers with this um, color combination better, or this the design. Um, so I just scraped off all of that buttercream and then used some buttercream on top to smooth out the top again. And I'm just using my silk flowers that are in the same color scheme as the cake and using that buttercream to get them attached to the cake. Now these are silk flowers you can use fresh. Fresh just doesn't seem as um, 
financially beneficial to me for when I'm doing um, tutorials. But in real life, I do prefer the fresh flowers. But it's still pretty. I mean, there's some really pretty silk flowers out there now. And I like the berries. I think the berries kind of tied it together. So there we have a side-by-side, -side, guys. If you would, please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and let me know which one you personally prefer. I like them both. I just wish that I had done the color a little different in the chocolate. But that's okay. Live and learn. Do whatever colors you want. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you'd like to watch some other videos, go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here. And if you would like to check out my other social media, I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next tutorial.